Good morning. You can't see me, but uh, I'm about to put Sika on this and then we will install it permanently. So let me put this camera on charge and go and find some Sikaflex and we can install the first portal. Right, so as I start squeezing out the Sikaflex, what I've actually done is I've cut a wedge into the very end of this uh, piping bit that goes on the end of the gun and I flattened it in my teeth <laughs> so that it fits right inside and I'm squeezing Sikaflex into the little gaps, maybe you can see it here, until it starts a little bit of squeeze out and then I'll come back afterwards and smooth it all into place. This means I can fill up the gaps and have it flush with the outside. The reality is I don't want any water in here, obviously. So this is my solution to doing it. Maybe there's a better way, but I found that this seems to work really well. I'm sure there's some official way to install portals. Um, this is my way.
there's some squeeze out, which is good. I'll wait for that to dry and I'll cut it off. A little bit of squeeze out over here as well. Hang on. There we go. Perfect. I'll let that set. Tomorrow I'll come along with the screws and screw this side in. And then uh, we've got the external face plates, these things, which will need to go on. But I always leave it a day or two because if I see after it's dried, if there's any gaps on the outside between um, the coach roof side and um, the actual portal, I can squeeze a little bit more seeker in. So before I seal it completely, I want to make sure that it's sealed completely. <laughs> All right, what next? Ah yes, this part of the deck. So the point is to scuff this up a little bit more and smooth it out because I want to come through and put a little bit more fairing in and this will be the last little bit of finesse work I'm doing on this part of the deck before I paint it. So that'll be in the next video for sure if the weather holds out. And today's a perfect day to do fairing because there's this beautiful northerly hot wind coming off of the mountains and there's no uh, condensation or anything anywhere. It's a fantastic day to do that. So I'm going to do that. video in my daily vlogs for June. Um, it went pretty well, <laughs> better than I expected. It was a lot of work, it was a lot of hustling and a lot of editing and a lot of, uh, yeah, I mean the work would have carried on on the boat but you would have just seen a lump sum of that every week. Um, so <laughs> I've produced 120 gigs of data, <laughs> video data, raw movie data and I have probably learned quite a bit. I can edit a lot faster and uh, all the things I kind of wanted to achieve are more or less achieved except the other day where I missed out on one video which sucks um, videos where I didn't get that much done due to the weather is that what would have happened anyway um, but that's how it is so I'm, I'm quite chuffed I'm proud that I was able to do that and I think I did okay um, coming up um, you've just seen me working on the deck and just doing the last bit of fairing before we prime and paint. Um, that'll be the final coat of paint on the deck and then that's as good as the deck's going to get until I turn the boat around and we start working down the port side midships aft to fix the tow rail section. Um, when she's turned around I'll be able to stand um, on the dock and actually work without hanging over the edge and falling into the water and losing tools in the water, that's a big one. 
So thank you all so much for supporting uh, the June daily vlogs. Please continue to support. I upload every Thursday at 6 o'clock South African Standard Time, GMT plus 2. So wherever you are in the world, um, that's when I do it every Thursday. Please like and subscribe. Um, give it a go and see if, uh, <laughs> if I entertain you a little bit. I hope that this work is interesting. Um, it's my reality. It's what I do every day. I do have other work but this is my hobby everyday stuff and if you've never seen any of my videos before and this is the first one you've watched go back and have a look and I'm hoping you don't judge me too harshly I'm trying to get better at editing and trying to get better with the work um, I'm not going for complete restoration showroom stuff this is an old boat I can't really do that if I wanted to do that I'd have to haul out demast, strip the boat bare and, and really get into a deep dive. That's way out of my budget and completely, uh, completely out of the scope of what I'm able to accomplish. However, um, there are other uh, interesting projects happening near and around me. That 107 year old boat actually was built in 1884 I discovered. So it's much older than that, 142 odd years. So I'm going to be documenting some of that, so stick around and uh, in the next two, three weeks I'll start trickling in some of those um, progress videos of what's happening with that boat in the yard. They're not officially starting on it, they've started stripping it um, to have a look at the condition of the ribs to see um, how bad the work is going to be. Um, I'll stick my nose in Monday and do a very short video to see how far they've gotten. Um, thank you everybody. I'm not going to ramble on anymore. I will see you next week, Thursday. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye, guys.